our topic today is a good one. And any company in any industry that sends out crews will want to pay attention. Should technicians work alone or should they work in pairs? Is a lead tech perhaps combined with someone to help him, a helper, with the added cost to that, a solid financial decision? I have an expert with me today to talk about this, Steve Tiburon, the founder of Homefront Success. Steve, welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Always great to be with you. Agreed. We have a great topic, like I mentioned. Uh, Steve, you know, I've seen it both ways. I've seen companies send one tech, two techs. What do you think? Why don't you tell us your thoughts and how it makes a difference to a company? You know, it's easy to say, oh, send two techs, but let's put the gorilla in the room right out there. Uh, obviously, many of our listeners are going to be saying, send two techs, you got a lot of dead time, travel time, etc. And that's right. So right up front, I'm going to say you're going to spend more. Your dollar per hour will go down. Can we justify it? Well, I've got a few thoughts on that. And maybe the biggest one is, of course, the homeowner, our customer. And very frankly, homeowners, whoever knocks on their door, they're going to be, especially a first-time client, nervous, invaded, vulnerable. And honestly, they're going to be much more comfortable with two people coming into their home instead of one. The emotional dynamics of one-on-one -on -one with a stranger in your home, it can get a little bit strange. So maybe that's my biggest point. Think about a comfortable customer that's going to be much more likely to leave a five-star review. I think that's huge, Jeff. I agree that's huge, but some might say, Steve, it's business. You're there to do a job. You're there to do whatever the service offered you're offering, get that done. Who cares if it's one or two? Well, I think that's a very valid point. And one of the things that you need to think about, Jeff, is that when you have two people in the home, one of them can keep production going. And the second one, we'll call them the crew chief. They can schmooze with the customer. They can build a relationship and they can sell what I call additional service options, which is just what we used to call upsells, additional ways to bring in income. I find that more than pays for that second person on the truck. And don't forget, too, that you also have security there, perceived security on the part of the homeowner, but also security for your technicians, because just maybe what if there's an unfounded accusation? Um, now they've got a witness with them to protect them, too. Good points. What about morale? Thinking about how you send one person out to do the work all day long they by himself, it could be a little boring. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Any of our industries that work in the home, their physical work, and it's not just physical. Also, many of times our technicians are young. They feel a little bit nervous, once again, knocking on the door of a multi-million dollar home. Having a companion with them can be huge. It just stops a bit of the loneliness, stops the burnout. And also don't forget, speaking of burnout, let's face it, we lose technicians, we lose people. And if you have somebody riding along, learning the game, you've got a built-in succession there, a built-in replacement when you lose somebody. And then finally, it's just a more flexible arrangement. And I didn't run two people on my trucks every time. Sometimes, normally I would run the majority two people trucks and then a couple of trucks with just one technician for those pickup jobs. It gave me great flexibility in terms of getting things done and being able to respond to those same day jobs, which is huge. Maybe to wrap up, Steve, thank you for this. What about... Uh, getting referrals and getting more jobs based on sending two. You mentioned the, the one technician could talk to the customer, maybe sell extra services. But what does this, this whole concept mean about getting referrals and keeping a client long term? Oh, it's huge. And maybe one of the things that I love, you know, 
all of the industries we're speaking to, we have something called a fiver round. And that's where you've always gone around and put your flyer in all the neighbors around where you're working. Well, I take it to the next step and I say, while the one person is working in the home, the other one excuse himself, go out and actually, I just love knocking, knock on the door, ring the bell and hand the homeowner, the neighbor, a business card and say, you know, we just wanted to apologize for the noise. I wanted to apologize for intruding in the neighborhood. We're working over at Mrs. Jones' home, and here's my business card. And there's a coupon on the back for an extra 10%, 15% off if you decide to call us. You'll be amazed how many homeowners will say, well, while you're here, could you come in and just look at of something I'm worried about. And right there, you're not going to do that with one tech on a truck. With two, you're 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 going to be amazed at the extra jobs that you sell. You sold me, Steve. Two on a truck may be the best way to go. Thank you for this today.